A very good day to you. Today we'll be revising the heuristic unchanged total. This is uh, an application question. It is not uh, the same as the questions that we have done before. This is actually a, a little bit mind-boggling. So I need you to pay attention to how I work this out so that later when we do the other questions, you will know uh, how to work out the solution. Okay, now let's look at the question. We have a is to b plus c is 1 is to 2. We have c is to b plus d is 1 is to 3. And we have a is to d is 2 is to 3. Based on the above ratios, find the ratio of a is to b is to c is to d. Now we have a and d already. So a and d is already found. We need to work out b plus c. In order to work out b plus c, we must make use of these two equations. Okay? Now we can see that the this equation has a and this equation also has a. Therefore, we need to combine the two in order to put d inside. Now, let's see how we can do that. Okay, a is to b plus c. Okay, is 1 is to 2. Now, we want to make, we want to put d in, so we need to make a into 2 units. Okay, here a is 1 unit, we need to make it into 2. So we need to times 2 in order to put d in. Okay, so this one we need to times 2. Once we times 2, we will have 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then d, we will have 3. Okay, now let's look at this equation uh, just to check. a is to d, 2 is to 3. a is to d, is still 2 is to 3. Okay, just that b plus c now has become 4 because we use a, equal, a is to b plus c times 2. So we have 4 units for b plus c. Then the other side of the equation, okay, we're, we're, I'm just going to write this down. c is to b plus d. Okay, c is to b plus d is 1 is to 3. Okay, now we have b, c, d here, and we also have b, c, d here. Can you see? b, c, d. b, c, d is 4 is to 3 here, b, c, d here is 1 is to 3. Now we need to make this into the same units in order for us to compare. Okay, BCD, BCD make them equal units, total, equal total units. Now we know that here we have 7 units and here we have 4 units. In order to make them the same, we need to have this times 7, we need to have this times 4. Then the new ratio will be 1 times 7 okay, will be 7 is to 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, essentially they are still the same. B C is to B plus D is still 7 is to 21. It's still side 1 is to 3. Now for here we need to times 4. A also need to times 4. Okay, 2 times 4 we will have 8. 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, then B, C, and D is 16 is to 12. 16 is to 12 is still 4 is to 3, just that we times 4. Okay, then here we have 28 units. 16 plus 12 is 28 units. Here we have 28 units. Once the total units are the same, we are able to compare. Okay, now we can see that D is 12 units. And here we have B plus D equals B plus D is 21. Okay, but D here is 12. Therefore, B is equals to 21 minus 12. So b is equals to 9. Then since we know that b is equals to 9, we have b plus c is equals to 16. So b plus c is equals to 16. So c will be 16 minus 9, which is 7. Okay, then we have b and c. Therefore, if once we work out a is to b is to c is to d, a we have 8 units is here and B we work out already is 9 units okay and C is 7 units and D is here okay D come down which is 12 units okay so this is our final answer for a 3 mark question okay 8 is to 9 is to 7 is to 12 now we have arrived at this answer in order to be very sure that this is the answer we need to put it back into the original equations to test them out okay a is to b plus c 
A we have 8, B plus C will be 9 plus 7, 16. Is it equals to 1 is to 2? Divide by 8, yes, 1 is to 2. Then we use the second equation, C is to B plus D. C we have 7, B plus D is 9 plus 12, which is 21. Okay, B and D, 9 plus 12, 21. Is it equals to 1 is to 3? Yes, you divide by 7, this 1 is to 3. So this, to check. A is to D, A is 8, and D is 12. Divide by 4, we have 2 is to 3. Okay, so we, we check already, then we have, then we are very sure that this is the correct answer. My boggling, this is how we apply unchanged total into a difficult question. If you have any questions, you have to ask me so that you are clearer and you'll be able to do the questions that follows. Have fun learning. See you soon.